So before we hop on the PC and I show you guys how to make your computer run faster, there is a few things that I want you to do after you do everything that I'm about to show you in this video. I want you to shut your computer off and turn it back on. You're going to notice your computer running about twice as fast. If you have any photo editing software, if you have any video editing software, whatever program it is on your computer that you use, I want you to try loading that up as well. And you're going to notice that booting about twice as fast and running much, much quicker. You also are going to have about a 5 to a 10 FPS increase in your game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on the computer. And I'm going to show you guys what you need to do in order to make your computers run faster. This applies to laptops as well. But before we do that, I want to apologize for the piss poor audio quality. I ended up moving my setup around the other day, which is why we didn't have a video and i broke my microphone arm so if you hear thumping and pounding i apologize for that i do have my new microphone but there's no way for me to set it up because it didn't come with a fucking microphone stand so let's go ahead and swap scenes here all right so now that we're on the computer again i do want to apologize if you hear thumping and that sort of stuff while i type but i want to show you guys what the new setup looks like i do have an extender for my webcam that way when i make my videos it's going to be pointed at my setup as well as I know the cable management is really really bad in that that is what I spent the majority of my day today doing is the cable management but once you're on your PC what you can go ahead and do is hit your little folder go to this PC and you can select whatever hard drive it is that you have Windows running on and you can click that with the right side of your mouse go to properties and hit disk cleanup go ahead and select all of these options right here if there's something that cannot be deleted windows will notify you that this cannot be deleted so you can go ahead and do that once you disk clean up option thing in this little part go over to tools and you can hit check to see if there's anything wrong with the hard drive that you're using it's basically like a troubleshooting option and then once you do that you can also hit optimize and then once you go in here just hit the optimize button and it'll optimize your hard drive like i said this is something that i do pretty much every single month so it may take you a little bit longer to do this so once you do all of those things with your hard drive and that sort of stuff whether it's a hard drive or an ssd what you can do is go down to your search box go to your control panel and go to power options which i probably should have selected since this is something that I did the other day like I said this is something you should probably already have selected but I wanted to show you guys this regardless just in case you don't have high performance selected balanced is default but it makes your computer run a lot slower so while we're in here I also want to show you guys advanced system settings click this Go to your settings and you can select adjust for best performance but i like to customize it you can if you just want to get it done quickly and you don't want to go through everything and test things out then you can just go ahead and select adjust for best performance and you should be fine so once you do all of those different things i do want to say the whole optimizing your drive you can go ahead and do that with any other hard drives or ssds on your computer as well it doesn't matter it's mostly focused towards the one you have windows running on but it doesn't matter if you do it for other things once you do that you can go back down into the search box go to percent temp percent go ahead and do this you could control a this builds up really really quickly and then you can go ahead and hit delete and i hope it doesn't delete the file don't worry if this shows up like i said it will notify you if you can't delete something just hit skip i should hit that for do it do it for everything and then last but not least is a program that you can install on your computer called cc cleaner and when you do this there's an update for it okay so you can just hit analyze and then you can run the cleaner i'm not going to do that right now because i don't want this file to get corrupted 
but you know that is something this, this is something that you're gonna want to do all of these steps pretty much every single month or two depending on how much you're using your computer but regardless guys this is how you make your computer run much much quicker again i do apologize for the piss poor audio quality if you heard something and that sort of stuff i ended up breaking my scissor arm for my blue yeti and i do have my audio technica but i don't want to set that up because i don't have something to hold it with the scissor arm is coming in the mail in the next day or two and then that is the microphone that i'll start using so yeah now that you watched all of the video and you guys did everything followed the steps i want you to shut your computer off like i said at the beginning of this video turn it back on you're going to notice it booting much quicker go ahead and load up some programs load up some games and that sort of stuff point blank if this does not help your computer run better then you need to upgrade your computer it's just your computer is really bad and i'm just saying that because this makes my computer run about twice as fast if i do this every like two months so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it helps and i apologize for not having a video yesterday I said i was moving my setup around and stuff so it took me forever so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed remember to support the video with a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace